Are they spawning here? Okay. Okay, get off of me, fool. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I told you. I told you. I told you not to do this. I told you. Yo, what's going on guys right now today's video is actually sponsored by eloot now you guys can check them out be sure to check them out the link will be actually in the description now basically eloot is a website where you can earn money by watching ads i know it's my now basically you can watch videos you can complete different like daily tasks you guys can see daily offers right here once you do these things you can earn gems which eventually equate into money now the actual fastest way to earn gems is through the your survey section like, as you guys can see if you go to ads and you can see the amount of gems that you can earn through these different surveys you got you know look at that you got 120 000 plus right here you can actually refer your friends to this website and earn 10 percent of any gems that they earn so basically the more friends you refer the more gems you get and not only that it's actually important to mention that elu actually offers the most redeem options like to any other site like you got op skins bit skins coinbase you got apple itunes you got xbox store playstation store ebay so yeah any type of currency you need you have it at elu yo what's going on guys man today we're going to be talking about you know what i can already tell is gonna be a war in the comment section just looking at the title already but today we're gonna to be talking about xbox players versus ps4 players man i mean it's a massive argument i don't know why especially since black ops 4 came out a lot of people have been talking about it and today we're gonna to be coming to like a full blow conclusion of who has the better players and i'll be explaining it all that different stuff but what i want you guys to do i want you to let me know in the comments down below who do you think has the better players xbox or ps4 and you can also wait to the end of the video as well once i've explained everything so you can let me know what you actually think and also i'm thinking i might completely buy black ops 4 on on xbox one just to, you know play both i'm only gonna do that if we hit if we can hit a nice 4,000 likes on this video real quick man i'll buy call of duty on the xbox i'll make some videos on there let me know and i'll do it yo i can already tell there's a war in the comment section right now <laughs> But yo, I'd say this argument kind of came around during Black Ops 4. I'm not too sure why. Maybe because of Fortnite. Because the argument was... Oh, no. The argument was pretty big in Fortnite. 100%. It probably just translated over to Call of Duty. But just so you guys know, it's like a point of reference. I played Xbox all the way up until World War 2. So I only really switched last year. You know what I'm saying? I was playing Xbox the entire time. I never really played... I never really played PS4. Missed that shot. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, I never really played PS4 up until, you know, this year. So, I mean, I would say I'm a good, like, point of reference when it comes to, like, knowing who's better, having arguments for both sides, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, yo, there's a guy right here okay but yeah people i would say realistically and if i'm being totally honest the argument usually comes from like you know people on ps4 would say ps4 plays are better people on xbox would say xbox plays are better it just usually works in that system there's no way and prove me wrong man but there's no way if you're on ps4 you're gonna say oh xbox plays are better i don't know it's just console wars in general man people just want to have People just want to say they're on the more difficult console, so like when you get certain gameplays and when you do certain things, it just seems a little bit better than it actually is. Oh yeah, you did that on Xbox? Nah, that's not valid anymore, like it's weird as hell. I personally don't get the argument, I wish, you know, we could all just calm down, live life together, you know what I mean? But hey, we can't, and that's probably not going to happen anytime soon at least. I know there's cross-platform on uh, Fortnite now, which is pretty mad, but realistically, people are always going to argue as to like which console is the best console. And also, the reason why I'm actually making this video is because people always downplay people's gameplays and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if I get a nuke. Oh, whoa, your lobbies are terrible. Is that because you're on PS4? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different, there's a lot of different arguments. But realistically, I'm going to give you guys, oh, I'm going to give you guys my point of view as to which one's better. Hold up. I'm going in low, low key. Low key. Are oh, they spawning on me? I almost died right there. Wait, move teammate, man. Yo, I swear my shot hit him. Okay, I think I think they're on the other side. I kind of want to get my streaks with this thing. Hello? Bro, where? I've run around the map seven. Wait. Oh, I got him. No. Wait. No! What the hell was that? Anyway, let's get back into this. So, Xbox versus PS4. I would say, personally, and I will explain this, I would say they're both... Oh, 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 oh. What's he said on this guy? Oh, I would literally say they're both the same. I would literally say they're both the same. And the reason for that is, I mean, firstly, like, people's argument is, like, the people you come up against. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a well-known fact that recently in Call of Duty, you've had, like, you know, at least, at least a little hint of skill-based matchmaking in the game. Whether that's, you know, crazy in terms of you literally only come up against people with the exact same, you know, stats as you. Or, you know, like, in this game, it has, like, a little bit of an influence of, like, the people you come up against. Either way, it has an influence of the people that you come up against in your lobbies. If you don't know what skill-based matchmaking is, 
is it basically takes your stats. I don't know what stat it is exactly, but it takes your stats and it kind of puts you against people, you know, with a similar stat. So you're not coming up against people that you can absolutely destroy, like in every single lobby. But most of the time, that's what's going to happen. Now, you're probably looking at my lobby right now thinking, hey, this does not match up to your stats whatsoever. <laughs> now, yeah, you're probably right. But, but people would also point out this lobby and be like, yo, PS4 players are terrible. I don't want you to act and I'm being totally unbiased because I came from Xbox. I still love Xbox to this day. But you're not going to sit here and tell me now that you can't get a good lobby like this. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense to me. When people say, oh, you got a new blobby, PS4 players are terrible. Oh, you got a new blobby, Xbox players are terrible. So you can't ever get a new blobby on that console. Come on, man. I would say realistically, you're going to find the same amount of noobs on both consoles, near enough anyway, and you're going to find the same amount of like good people on both consoles. And that's mainly, and that's mainly because, you know, there's a hint of skill-based matchmaking in the games. Like, even if there isn't, okay, let me explain the other side. If we talk about what console has like the best of the best players, we're going to say, well, I'm going to say PS4. And that's literally because we got the pro players over here, you know? The people that are actually, you know, grinding GBs, you know, trying to become pro players and all that different stuff. Realistically, they're playing PS4 because that's where, you know, all the tournaments are held on PS4, you know what I mean? So I would say like the top, top, top players are on PS4, but that's only talking about pro players. But like, you know, the rest of the normal pro players, I would say it's pretty much the same. The only difference is, yes, you know, there's more noobs on PS4, but there's also more good players on PS4, but that's only because <laughs> there's more players is on PS4. Oh. Wait. There's more players on PS4 in general, so obviously. Bro, hello! What the flip? I'm out. Yeah, there's more players on PS4, so obviously it's gonna have more of like every type of player. It's gonna have more noobs, it's gonna have more. Okay. Can I get out of this? Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna have more noobs, it's gonna have more good people, it's gonna have more, you know, just everything. Whereas Xbox, you know, it's got a little bit smaller of a player base. I'm re I remember in World War II, man, there was a difference of like, I, I think it was like, so, like, there's clearly a difference in the amount of players playing each console, which will have an effect of how many noobs there are. But in terms of, like, the ratio of, like, good people to bad people, I would say it's pretty much the same. Because, like, and I give it to the pro players and, like, you know, the people that actually grind GBs and stuff. Obviously, there's still GB kids on Xbox and stuff like that. Not everyone moved to PS4. So, there's still those kids that are actually good at the game. But I don't really like it when anyone says, you know, Xbox has the worst players, uh... Okay, Xbox has the worst players, PS4 has the worst players, because in reality, you know, you're getting put into, like, the similar lobbies. But hey, man, let me know what you guys think, though. Do you agree with what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I'm accurate in exactly what I'm saying, you know, like, you can find very similar lobbies on both, on both consoles. He got, okay. So it's also important to mention as well that most, you know, most Call of Duty YouTubes are on PS4 and I say most because shout out to you Xbox players still, but it's like most of the PS4 players, I mean most of the PS4 YouTubers, oh my god, what the hell, most of the PS, most of the Call of Duty YouTubers are on PS4, that's basically what I'm saying, so with that said, that doesn't mean all the people, you know, that just play Call of Duty casually, aren't doing YouTube, just watch content and stuff like that, that doesn't mean to say they moved, I know a lot of them did, but that doesn't mean to say... Bro, why is there so many people using Titans on this? Look at him, man. It doesn't mean that they moved. Although, you know, a lot of YouTubers moved, it doesn't mean that all of those moved. So, with that said, these guys are actually annoying, man. Bro, they're getting... Look at it. This is like, what am I supposed to do? There we go. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is, of course, you know, when Xbox players probably, you know, watch the YouTubers that are on PS4, see that, like, I don't know, nuclear game plays, double nuclear, triple nuclear, like, 100 plus and stuff like that. It probably looks weird, because you're probably like, wait, how, how are these guys getting all these crazy game plays, and I'm just here against tryhards, or why am I lobby- Oh my god, I don't know how I did that, but I did. Okay. Okay, okay get off me, fool. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I told you. I told you. I told you not to do this. I told you. Bruh. Yo, that probably looks weird. What I just did right there. People are probably like, oh, 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 man, what did I just do? But yeah, people are probably like, wait, 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 wait. I can't do stuff like that with my lobbies. Like, wait, hold up. Although I just, in reality, didn't miss a shot and they weren't going to kill me. It probably seems a little bit suspicious. I can understand that, boys. Don't get me wrong. But like, I can understand what you're saying, but I don't agree with what you're saying because you can definitely do this on Xbox as well. But basically what I'm trying to say is like when you see, when people see Call of Duty YouTubers doing crazy gameplays, it will make it look like, you know, PS4 is a lot easier because maybe, I don't know, you can't do all that stuff or the lobbies don't quite look similar. 
<laughs> but you gotta realize as well, bro. In reality, the pe like the people that go all on all those crazy gameplays and stuff, they are playing a lot. <laughs> they are playing a hell of a lot. Probably a lot more than the average player. Do you know what I mean? So they're gonna have crazy gameplay, but that does not mean. Hold up, this. Oh nah, nah. I don't feel like challenging that. There we go. But there's a lot going on right now, and there's a lot for me to focus on, and it's kind of difficult. No! Oh, the game's about to end anyway, I don't even care. But you'll probably see those gameplays and be like, wait, this is mad. How do you get in all these gameplays? But in reality, look, look, 34 and 2. How do you do that? You're on PS4, that's why it's easy. But now, you could probably do this too if you played just as much as me. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a console war. And like I say also, the, the argument really isn't valid because of like, you know, skill-based matchmaking kind of being in the game. You're going to get pretty similar lobbies based upon your stats. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 